It's a cat. You can get another one. There, there's a whole litter of them in the sacristy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here now. Uh-huh. Honestly, Mom, I know. I know. I know it's important. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I'm wearing the shawl that you gave. Yeah. Okay. Mom, I gotta call you back. Wow! Hi! Hi! How are you? It's good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> Came to pay my last respects. Oh no, who died? Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's good to see you. You haven't, uh, you haven't changed a bit. Well, I, I mean, obviously you've changed a bit. You, uh, you didn't have tits in the eighth grade. Not like now. <laughs> Somebody meant to say. It's really good to see you. So, you still working on your act? <laughs> no, uh, I do an open mic here and there, but too busy running this bustling metropolis. <laughs> Into the ground, Mr. Councilman? That's a good idea. Bulldoze the whole town. All in favor, say aye. Motion approved. <laughs> wow, it's, it's so empty. It's like half the town. When did, when did it close? Uh, a year ago. Uh, some people are trying to save it, turn it into a cultural center or something. Including my mom when she's not off spending her money at the vet. <laughs> she should look into pet insurance. It's a cat. Still, she could save some money. Oh, no, no, she wouldn't. There'd always be something. I can feel your eyes. Sorry. It's just, I'm like an anthropologist or something, get a dig it in the dirt, looking for bones. And I look at my watch, and it's time for lunch. And I'm eating lunch, and then all of a sudden the dinosaur comes up out of the earth. It's crazy. <laughs> Paleontologist. What'd I say? Anthropologist. Yeah. That's what I meant. Do you want to get a cup of coffee with me? I, uh, I really want a cup of coffee. <laughs> Don't you have a council meeting or something to get to? Well, I... I don't care if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Unnecessarily complicated menu. Boutique decor. You know, she's trying a little bit too hard. Uh, sound familiar? I'm getting a boner. It's four shots of espresso and a large coffee. Hi there, Jerry. Gladys, hi. This is Gladys, she uh, owns the place. She's from the city. Hi. A boner? Most definitely. For your friends. So, what are you having, do you? The most bizarre day. Uh, I'll try the Argonaut and um, a boner. Jared, you go. Oh, really? Well, we have so much in common. <laughs> you should ask her out. I did in 1995. You did not. Yes, I did. It was a turning point in our relationship. It's 9:45. Your money's no good here. <sighs> Sorry. 
So, if I were a betting man, which I am, by the way, on football. Oh, how's that working out for you? Why do you think I'm facing the door? <laughs> anyway, if I were a betting man, I would say that you are here because you're selling your mom's place. She's not coming home. And neither are you? <laughs> Don't even think about it. Get that thought out of your head. Is it really that absurd? Yes, it is absurd. It's, it's laughable. Well, you used to laugh at me all the time. No, I made fun of you and other people laughed. Well, if you liked me that much, maybe it would have helped you to you know, be a little nicer to me. Uh, face that kind of rejection. Boys are so emotionally fragile. And they are even more when they grow up. How's Adam? Well, just because he left doesn't mean that we stopped talking about you. Hmm. What do you know? <laughs> well, I know you've been engaged five years. You live in a studio overlooking the park. I know you're up for something called an ASME award in the food, travel, and design category. I'll tell you what, we should just switch places. Although, I would find the need to reconnect with my fiance intimately uh, absolutely exhausting. Is this what you talk about at your council meeting? The one that you're late for now, anyway? That, and how to bring uh, new business to the downtown area. Yes. See you, Jared. See ya. I could live here. I could, you know, slow down a little bit. Maybe take out some of my savings, start a magazine of my own. Nobody reads magazines anymore. You should get a Kindle. You read magazines. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much do you think that house is worth anyway? Oh, I don't know. 150, 175 maybe. Really? Yeah. It's more than what I would have thought it would have been. Well, it's got a good foundation. It's, it's got an attractive front porch. It's bright. You know, it needs a little TLC, but it's got a lot of potential. Yeah. Sound familiar? <laughs> you forgot funny, too. Oh, yeah, funny, too. I'm good. I'm good in cafes and uh, living rooms. And probably, I don't know, nursing homes. I kill in nursing homes, <laughs> which is why I'm not allowed back. <laughs> I do like old things, old magazines, old cars, old houses, this old town. I think you guys are a good fit. I think you should probably make that call. Yeah. yeah. Janet, hi. It's Jared. No, 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 I'll be there in uh, 20 minutes. Something just, something came up. Yeah, okay. Probably go. Hey, I'm good to go. 